retro rock plays everything. Hey Rob here and I'm going to make a hopefully short video on how to quickly root your GPD XD and um, I, I might just make it into a follow-up video on how to make your GPD XD look like another device so you can download things off of Google Play but anyway this is step one for it uh, a lot of people ask me about rooting it so I thought I'd make a quick video by the way uh, none of this procedure uh, was something that I came up with. This is all off of the Diguity boards or off of Reddit. So I'll put links down below so you can check those guys out. Uh, the file I'm about to use, I am going to link to in two different places. One is the file dropper that is used by uh, the guys at Diguity on their links and then I'm going to use one that's my own off of a Google Dropbox so that you guys can get to it really quickly without having to uh, enter any crazy crap so anyway um, here's an example I, I know a lot of people think that these are rooted already they're not uh, not since uh, I think it was 3.3.6 uh, I think it was the last rooted version all later versions are not rooted at all in reality <laughs> I get it root. Yeah. all right it wasn't that funny anyway uh, here's some evidence of that uh, you go into emulator and I can't remove this right I don't have the option to remove it I don't have the ability to remove it. Uh, I can't remove it from the menu or anywhere else, but I don't want it there. Uh, I run mine uh, pretty slim and I run it very close to uh, just basically being a stock Android device. And uh, due to that, it, it's just more stable. So anyway, there's a lot of crap on there that I want to get off and I can't get it off the way it is right now. So I've got to root it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to get a file on here, the file that I'm talking about below that's linked, uh, to do that. And that file is actually made by GPD. Uh, they, they gave you the ability to do this if you needed to. I'm going to give you the warning, the 101 warning, that the reason why GPD doesn't provide complete root access is so that somebody can not install, well, it makes it harder for somebody to install a piece of software that will steal your credit card information and buy stuff, a bunch of stuff off your Google Play account. Note, uh, I use root to get junk off of there. That's it. I don't use it so that I can put app stores on there that are questionable. I don't do it to pirate, basically. Uh, I actually have a pretty decent Google Play account and I've got a bunch of games off of there. So yeah, I want to put ROMs on there, but you can do that anyway. You can do that without rooting this. So what I'm saying is, just uh, don't do it to get flaky apps because you are stripping off very important layers of security when you do this. All right, warning is over. It's very easy to do. All right, so I downloaded the file. How do I get it on the machine? Well, there's three ways to do it. You could download it directly from the device, I think. I haven't tried that yet, so I can't 100% vouch for that, but it, it should work. Downloading it to the root of your GPD should allow you to do the update. Uh, else you connect it with this cable like I'm doing. Uh, via USB and then it's going to show up as a drive. I don't know if you heard the chime or not uh, but it's going to show up as a drive on my machine. The other way uh, you can do this is of course I could pop out my SD card and I could use this little adapter and plug it into my sh machine and drop the file to the root of it that way and then plug it back to the GPD and power it back up. Alright so three different ways Two of them definitely work, one of them maybe not. By the way, if you cannot see your files, uh, if you don't see a file system when you connect to this, go to www.android.com slash file transfer and that will give you a program that will read it. Uh, that's for Mac or Windows. So either one of you guys, if you can't see it, get that Android file transfer program and you'll be able to see it. All right, let me switch over to my main screen here. There's the Android file transfer right there. All right, I've got some programs in my downloads right there. Update zip. What you want to do is drop this to the root, the root of your GPD XD. Did my XD show up? Yeah, it did. Here we go. There's SD card one, two. I'm going to put it on two. I'm just going to drag it right to the root. The root is the very first directory you see if you double click. So now it's there. Uh, in a couple of minutes I'm going to get a pop-up on my GPD XD which will ask me if I want to run the update 
let's uh, take right screen off and we will wait for the pop-up might take a few minutes folks so hold on <laughs> okay so I totally forgot to unplug the cable unplug the cable <laughs> <laughs> and then it will start. Oh, I'm doing this on short notice uh, because I just want to get this done. But I did want to record this for you because uh, it, it, when you do it the second time, uh, sometimes some stuff changes. Anyway, so here it is. An update file is found. And now I'm going to tell it to install it. Okay, can't see it here, but it was updating. You saw the little Android guy. And it'll come up with a signal in a minute. And there we go. You see that little uh, icon up in the top left corner? No, you don't because I unplugged. Uh, there is root. Congratulations. Do you want to delete the file? Yes, I do. So now the update is completed. We're going to go find an app that it has installed. Uh, let's go with show with all show all apps. Uh, this might be different on yours depending on your interface, of course. I'm using a custom interface. And we're going to look for an app. Here we go, Super Sue. The Sue binary needs to be updated. We're going to update it. If you have a custom recovery, we don't. Would you like to install the SU binary? Yes, normal. Now it'll take a few minutes to update. Installation success. It's recommended that you reboot your device now, so we're going to reboot it. <laughs> News station. This multi-screen thing. Here, wait. I can go over here now. There we go. So I got my stock screen on here, too. Probably take care of that one of these days. Okay, so we got Super Sue. Looks good. Now I'm going to need an app. So I can uninstall these programs. I've got just the one. Hold up a second. Okay, so just a real quick recap of what we're trying to do here, which is we're trying to uninstall programs on the GPDXD that generally would not be allowed to be uninstalled and I'm going to give you a quick example of that again just as a refresher this has been too long of a video for what I'm trying to do here honestly but let's go take a look down here and we are looking for a thing called emulator there we go now this is the part of the menu in the default interface that basically shows the uh, emulator menu and as you can see, there's no option to remove it. Now, I am rooted, but I can't actually do it from this app because it is not capable of doing it. Actually, it might be able to do it if you moved into system space. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, it's only able uh, to... I don't know if I go messing with that anyway, but uh, it's only able to remove things that are in your user space that you are allowed to remove. You Linux folks, that's uh, the user space, system, and kernel. 
your three layers. All right, anyway, back to it now. So I'm going to need a uh, program to do this for me. And I'm going to choose a program called Device Control. And I'm just going to install that. All right, now I'm going to open it. You could find it in your menu. Now see, you're getting a sudo request. So I'm going to grant it. And then top left menu. Scroll down the app manager system and now I'm going to find that emulators and I'm going to tell it uninstall there we go when I refresh <laughs> when I refresh it'll be gone hold on a minute And sometimes it does that. Oh wait, there's a refresh. All right. Okay. Uninstall. Yes, it's gonna probably say it's not there. Oh no, just took two shots. I don't know why, that's weird. Hasn't done that one before, but anyway, as you can see, it is removed. Now I wanna give you a big old fat warning here. See those little guys with the little Android heads on them? The little green guys? Yeah. Don't delete those. <laughs> They're system files. Uh, anything actually that says Android on it, you should probably avoid. And don't just do this willy-nilly. Don't delete stuff that you don't know what it is. Target individual apps that you know you want to get rid of and do it that way because you can really, really mess up your GPDXD by doing this. So. Uh, be very careful. Just remove the stuff that you need to remove. Uh, be picky about it. And then get the heck out of there because you can really mess things up. All right. That is absolutely positively it for this particular topic. I thank you very much for watching it. If you enjoyed it or got any use out of it, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If there's anything I described incorrectly because it's really easy to do that while I'm blowing through this, uh, do me a favor. Make a comment down below and... Uh, correct it. All right. Thanks for watching. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos